Got one ticket to my way. You want to kill you? <laughs> that was a masterpiece of sushi. It's cremated. <laughs> no matter how many times I rub eye makeup remover on my eyes, there is mascara underneath them. Like I literally rubbed it off last night, rubbed it off again this morning, and there's still mascara. I look like a panda. Oh, what's going on but um hi welcome to this week's vlog um i'm going now to get my hair needling done which is micro needling on my scalp and um, i haven't actually talked about it on here yet but i have alopecia areata which is basically when your immune system i hope i'm saying sorry but attacks your body i think and it left me with a bald spot in my case so a lot of different immune responses can happen but mine was a bald spot so um it's coming back now it was very very bald for a few months now Doing the microneedling and all these products and stuff doesn't actually, apparently it doesn't actually make hair come back, but it gives your hair the best chance and the best environment for when it does come back. So mine was bald for a few months, nothing was happening. Um, but now I'm using a lot of products together, getting the needling done, and then my hair is growing back. So we're giving it the best environment we can, if that makes sense. So I'll bring you along there. Um, and then, yeah, I had an interview this morning with The Independent. That was fun. Then I'm meeting my management later on as well. I'll go, I'll busy, had the gym as well this morning. Done all this and it's only 12 o'clock. So yeah, I will chat to you later. So I'm getting my hair rejuvenation mm -hmm. done for my alopecia. And Eve's gonna explain what the process is. Okay, so we're starting with a chemical exfoliation. So I'm using million dollar glyco wash, which is like 5% glycolic, which is really, really strong. What this is doing is basically we have our hair follicle and Charlene's might be blocked with like dead skin cells, debris from all the products and stuff you do in your hair. So what this is doing is it's actually sending the chemical down into the hair follicle, chemically exfoliating it, where that light is not doing a story. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, yeah, the chemical is basically cleaning the hair follicle and then it's allowing what is called the dermophil at the bottom of the hair follicle to grow a lovely hair and shoot it all up to itself. Gorgeous. So that's it. I love this part. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice part. This is before I'm coming. Yeah. Out. Like, are you okay? <laughs> okay, so now we're going in with our million dollar little hair ampule. So this is basically all the goodness going into the follicle before we go in now and we microneedle. So what this is doing is it's causing trauma to your scalp, mm -hmm. the top layer of your skin. It is sending signals down to let the body know that you've been injured and your body's response to injury is going to be blood. Blood is going to rush to the area, attack the little germ of papilla, let it know that it has lots of new nutrients, fresh blood, and hopefully that germ of papilla then, which has been in your hair, is going to grow lots of new little hairs for us. I thought that the blood was going to be gushing, but it's not. It's like, it's no. like little... I remember no. the first day I was like, oh, yeah, I was like, like, oh, I was like no. <laughs> If you watch my last vlog, it probably looks like I never take this jumper off, but it's like two weeks later, so I promise I do wear other clothes. I just happen to wear this again. And my face always goes paler before my body with tan because I just use so many like face products every day. Mix in my drunk elephant drops with my Fenty moisturizer and making like this bronzy um potion, I suppose. And my face will then match better and have a little bit of a glow to it as well. And obviously be moisturized. Simon, Petri, tattoo for the group so we're in charge of this now so. here's feet with little smile <laughs> wait it's ian oh no we can't get ian tattoo oh. why did i think it was Papa? because that's yes, word oh yeah uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on here this one? little dinosaur oh my god that cocktail yeah, is okay, delicious is nice? yeah, yeah. I'm not getting a dinosaur tattoo. Oh, girls, look, this is really cute. What is it, a bird? A little drink. Oh, that's little adorable. Little a little heart's coming out of it, yeah. Bird tattoos for the birds. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, imagine we all got the same one. Oh, my God, imagine we got it across there. Yeah. It's not a bit extreme. Because yeah, that's quite, one tattoo. I think it's like, quite big. Yeah. But you like, can get a teeny tiny because there's not eight not birds. No, not to eat it. Put the bread. Different drink. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. Do they have a Bellini? Yeah, here's a Bellini, yeah. Or I'll just get a glass of wine, you know me. Yeah, yeah, you, you have to get Or a bottle of wine. Oh, yeah. look, a little whiskey with it. Lucy, like, Lucy likes whiskey. Oh, yeah. She's mad for shame. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Always tasting the margarine. Oh, that's the worst thing out. I don't want to taste it. I'm going to get sick. I hate it. It's not that strong, but the salt is in it. It's got a food. I got um, baked eggs. Which, what's in it? Chorizo uh, ragu? 
yeah, I don't know what that means. So. You don't like the rocket soap? Unfortunately, <laughs> rocket is disgusting. Why does it taste like that? It's, it tastes it's, like a poison. I love rocket. <laughs> So we got pancake, and then we got some wings for sure. So we bought a cheesecake in the Asia market. Tinder, but it's reality. Maybe when you open up though, because what you're seeing is the night is the inside of it. So maybe that's just the top. It's gone off or burnt. <laughs> burnt too crisp. What do you think, Izzy? No. Same. So open up. Just crack it open. Oh yeah, it's just literally in between. Oh, it's between. <laughs> <laughs> Let me taste it. They look bad. <laughs> Let me taste. It's very dry. Mmm. It has a nice aftertaste, real sweet. It's really dry, though. My whole mouth is like the moisture is gone. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Thank God we got the drinks. Like, as a Madeira cake, it's pretty Yeah, it is. Good morning! It's Sunday. I'm just going into Pilates now. I need to run in because I'm running a little bit late, but um, Tati's afterwards. I am very excited actually because I just need a bit of Zen time. Um, yeah, see you afterwards. Ignore my hair, so I have to wash it today, but I put on face tan this morning and maybe I was half asleep, but I don't know what happened to my eyebrow. It's very extremely orange. But anyways, I got some sushi, so I'm gonna eat it with you. Um, yeah, what I've got today is salmon maki. So it's um, just salmon, rice and seaweed. And then a, what are they called? A tamaki, it's a hand roll. So it's just a roll of seaweed with rice and tuna inside. And basically on that myself, then I put sriracha mayo um, to add a little bit of spice. There's something so comforting about sushi. I don't know what it is. I think it's because it sounds so stupid, but like times in my life when I haven't had like an appetite necessarily for food, like breakups, like sad times, like I always have an appetite for sushi. Do you know what I mean? Then for the hand roll, what I do is... So garden was stuck to it. So I put on the soy sauce. People always say the soy sauce looks like a holy water bottle and it does because the little cap of, it, cap of it is red as well. Um, So I put on the soy sauce and then take my sriracha mayo and pop that on top. And then obviously after the first bite that mayo has gone so you keep adding more. So cheers. That was a masterpiece of sushi. Oh, oh no. This sriracha mayo is way spicier than the one I used to have, but it's the exact same bottle. So I'm just really confused at how it's so much spicier. Oh my God. She look insane with the hairband, the fringe and the spot stickers. Um, but I'm going to bed now, just home from Emma's. Um, took my makeup off, took my skincare. Feeling fresh and ready for tomorrow. So tomorrow's podcast day, we're recording two tomorrow. Um, just the way the weeks fell, we're doing two. So I'll bring you along there. Um, today proper feels like a Sunday. Like proper feels like a three day weekend. So it was just really nice. Had a really nice relaxing time. Um, yeah, just a really nice wholesome weekend. No hangovers, no drinking. I probably will have a hangover next weekend or this weekend coming. Probably. I don't know if I'm going out, out yet, but we'll see. So I'll keep you updated. I'll br obviously bring you along as well. Um, but yeah, for now, good night. We're in recording the podcast and we're in getting some breakfast or lunch in Metro Cafe. I got some pancakes, honey butter, and Nutella, and then oh, look at the smell unreal. This smells so good. And Ellie got a sausage. Oh, look at it. It's just like, it's burnt. It's good made today. Like, my phone's on a tripod of the water bottle. We're just in the boardroom of the podcast. We're holding a meeting. We're holding a meeting with all of our clients there now. So, <laughs> see, what, what do you think? Bars <laughs> <laughs> are very blank. We obviously have really good ideas for the podcast. Mm -hmm. um, but we're just in a little break of recording today. Of the Valentine's episode. That'll be out by the time... Is it, what day is it today? Tuesday. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. By the time you see this, already we have to, you have to go listen. Mm -hmm. And look at the little Valentine, we all got Valentine's nails. Oh yeah. Look at this little horse. They're so cute. 
Some red hearts. Okay, this is Leanne. This She's is our Leanne. producer of the podcast. <laughs> we were just in here because we had to film a little bit of extra stuff. Yeah. So now we're going home and say twelve. I'm gonna make okay. some dinner. I'm starving. Maybe Again, it's looking nice as something it is. We haven't seen a bright day coming out from the podcast since summertime. A very long time. Feeling so happy now. I'm never going to be sad again, ever again. My HelloFresh box arrived today, so I'm going to make one of the meals that came inside. If you haven't heard of HelloFresh, it is the world's leading meal kit company. So I get three meals a week, and it just is so handy because I'm so lazy when it comes to food shopping. I hate doing that, I don't have time to do it. So literally, the fresh ingredients come to my house. The exact ingredients what you need for each meal come. There's no food waste, it's just the best. This here is what I'm gonna make. So it's the Thai spiced pork noodles and this should take 20 to 25 minutes. Also, I'm definitely no chef, but this shows exactly what to do step by step. It makes it so easy and breaks it down for you. So my pork is cooking. Here's a food that I created. It looks so, so nice. I'm actually starving watching this back. But you can get up to 75 euro off your first three boxes using code Charlene Fresh. I'll leave it on the screen as well and leave it in the description below. So this is the finished result. I'm gonna do a little taste test. Oh my God, that's so nice. That literally took me like 25 minutes. And it's delicious. Every week there are 12 different recipes to choose from. So I pick the ones that are quickest to make. They're always all nice anyway, so I just pick the quickest ones. Um, but this one is so, so good. So yeah, try recipes a week, you're gonna find something that you like. Um, I get three recipes a week for four people, four people in my house, so we just eat them. They're so handy, come to your house. Um, everything's fresh and quick and easy, so I'm gonna eat this and go. So my wardrobe was taken out, so it is night time now. The guys are coming at eight o'clock in the morning to fit the new wardrobe. But this is what it looks like. So this was my old bedroom colour before before the grey. So grey is now and then, wait, hang on. No, sorry, it was grey. Then it was this green shade that's here. <laughs> Obviously, it over here. That's why you couldn't see all this. Um, it was the green and then before that again, it was the pink. Um, But it was pink and red. So I think it was pink. This might be my, my really early colour from when I was really young the pink and then I think I had like red on this wall and then pink everywhere else can't actually remember but definitely the last one was the mint green um but yeah this is my old floors the floors obviously didn't get um made new when these were made new because you had to move the whole wardrobe but there was no point um but yeah that's what it looked like so I'll show you tomorrow updates hopefully along the day um of how it's going but yeah that's it before my new wardrobe i am so happy so this is what the outside looks like these by the way were fully customizable to what i wanted to the space i had um so they are the doors so i got white doors to match my room because it's white and then the inside is like this nice um wood so i wanted a bit folding and then mainly hanging because i have a lot to hang so i got some folding drawers obviously i'm gonna put like socks and knickers and stuff in there, gym gear, jeans, and then probably pajamas in the last one. Then here I have hanging space, and um, also just space for pop popping stuff like bags and stuff probably at the end as well. Although I want to keep it looking nice, but you never know. And um, then obviously hanging space here, and then up there is a little gap for stuff like I don't know vacuum bags, summer stuff, things you're not kind of want to grab every day. But I'm literally so happy. I'll tag on screen and the company that done mine, and I'm just oh. I'm so, so, so happy. You do not understand how happy I am right now. I just got this delivery. I wonder what it could be. I actually cannot cope. I'm not even having so much a bad day, just a stressful day. I just feel like there's a lot today. And I get really overwhelmed easily, I think, when there's a lot to do. Not even when there's a lot of, like, to do in one task, but I feel like there's loads of little bits to do today, and I just, I get so overwhelmed. So, he got me this. I hope you feel better. Love you. Her name is Noel. Yes, I got a secret, baby. She rings my bell. <laughs> Tell me. I'm just a teenager. Is that the song? Yeah. What a well. But she doesn't know who I am. <laughs> and she doesn't give a damn about me. Got one ticket to my way. 
I don't know what it is though. I know what it is though. I don't know what it is though. I wouldn't know that if I heard that. No. I would. No, straight now. Jamie. Uh, uh, uh. Ha 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 one life. Yeah. One opportunity. Yes. <laughs> don't be looking at home. What he wrote down. What he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud. He opens his mouth. But the words don't come out. He's choking out. And mm, he's choking out. And he's punking out. And he's choking out. Slap back to reality. Where's on the bus go? Drama's last week. Last week. Just like we always. She's talked about. Because you were so excited. Oh, she didn't know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.